Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gonna Change. Today, we're gonna be talking about Dana White working from home. Crazy, not crazy. Let's get into it. Shout out to the Piers Morgan. Everything out there is for the taking. If you have even this much savage in you, if you are willing to go out there and grind and work hard, you know, you got these people that don't want to go to work. They want to stay home and, and, and work from home and all that. And, and, and believe me, I've seen this when I've spoke before. I see it pop up in the comments, all these people saying, you're wrong. No, things can be done from home. No, it can't. You have to be. OK, so they're actually talking about it. Can you work from home? Can you do stuff in the office? Or do you think that you could be just as productive? Let me talk to this right quick. Uh, let me sit up. Here's one thing I can say about this. Obviously, as a man who's worked from home, um, y'all let me know how y'all done it if y'all work from home too. Um, obviously, a lot of us during the pandemic got to work from home. I work from home and I work in an office. Personally, me, even a person who does live streams at home, if I had a place where I could go do live streams, I'm being honest with you, I would rather go to my office to do a live stream than do it at my house. I like my house being my house. And I do feel like I could be more productive if I was going to an office with more people to talk to and get more, more things done because working from home, even when I used to talk to, like you you know, if you work from home, you got a team, you do a Zoom meeting or something like that. I didn't like those, man. I felt like in person, you could really get more of a, a feel for what's going on. You could really put your heads together because it's just something about working from home. It doesn't feel like a whole lot gets done. Yes, you can be just as productive. I do think that is possible. I think that you can be more productive though at home. I mean, at, <laughs> look at me. I feel like you could be productive at the office far more because one, you're forced to be there. Your supervisor is normally right there, but you can also have those conversations. I remember when I worked from home sometimes, it felt okay. It felt cool, but I was kind of distracted. But when I had to work at work and I, I wasn't allowed to be doing all these extra stuff, I could just sit there, focus on my job. Guys, I, I know some people don't like that. I get that. Some people cannot handle sitting in an office, even though we've been doing it for years, obviously before the pandemic. I know some people don't can't handle it today, even though they've only worked from home for two years. I think me personally, when I work at an office, I just feel like I can get so much more done. I feel so much more successful. I am a grinder when it comes to work. Even at these live streams, I've had to force myself to do this. I Like I said, man, my dream, my dream. We well, already know what I want to do. I want to work for something like the Daily Wire. I don't think I'd ever get that far. But I, I don't mind working for uh, something lower than the Daily Wire or a Prager U or something below them, something that's not as big because I know I'm not that big. I, I'm not a speaker or nothing. I want to be one day, but I, that's something I'm working on. Uh, but like I said, I just want to be able to get to that point. Right. So going to an office is something I would love. I would love to live stream from an office where there's people around, where I got production people. They, they're telling me to say this, that I want that. So that for me, that just makes me feel like perfect. But some people, they love being it. That's why you see so many people who live stream these days from their house. That's why you see so many people who want to be live streamers or people who want to be YouTubers. They don't want to leave the comfort of their home. I'm different. I don't want to be at my house doing all this stuff. I hate this. I'm not going to lie to you. I love live streaming, but I hate live streaming from my home. I want to live stream from an office. I want to do it at a place I got to go to. I love that. That's just, it just feels better for me. Uh, so I, but in the case of what Dana White is saying, Dana White is saying that people complain about it. I don't know. I want to hear the rest of what he has to say. Be in the building with like-minded people. You know how much stuff that I have on my agenda every day? Um, that, that needs to be done, but other things that pop up in the office and you get a bunch of, 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 of smart, mm. hardworking people in a room together, you have to have people in the office working every day. And these people that don't want to, stay home, man. Stay home and, and, and do your thing. Good luck to you. I wish you all the luck in the world. There's going to be a small group of hungry savages out there that are going to run every one of you over and you can sit home and you can cry and complain about how you didn't get yours and it's because this person had this opportunity that you didn't have it's all bullshit cry baby stuff that's going on <laughs> i want to say this oh of course my camera went out and i'm in the middle of a video Whoop! i guess i'm doing it like this for now okay uh while i fix that well let's, let's continue the conversation Wow, camera, were you really going to do me like that? Man, that's crazy. All right, so let's talk like this then. I'll just talk in this camera, and I'll talk over here, okay? And we'll bring that video back up so you have something in the background to look at. Oh, the camera looks so bad. Let me say this, guys. One thing that I really notice 
is that when it comes to, when it comes to uh, wanting to grind, wanting to work hard, there is a big difference between people, man. I, I understand that some people really want this life and they really want to have it all be easy. I wish that's how it works sometimes, but it doesn't. Okay, you don't think I wish I could have just hopped on YouTube, made one viral video, and I'm making $100,000 a year? It's going to take trial and error, failure after failure after failure. Nobody likes to hear those stories of people who make it and say, yeah, I was grinding for 10 years before I saw any success. Oh, I was grinding for 30 years, or maybe not 30, but I was grinding for 10, 15 years before I saw any success. Um, some people, and I think this is what happened. I talked about the whole creator content the other day when I talked about people who make courses they sell you on selling you stuff I don't like that when people tell you how to get a hundred thousand subscribers in six months because they were the one out of the few people who could ever do that and they try to teach you to do it when you have a completely different niche you have a completely different work and they happen to get a video that just happened to blow up because they had it at the right time some people blew up during the pandemic because they may have said hey I went to Vegas and that happened to be something that people wanted to watch I think that's much different and you're pretty much telling people that it's easy to do. And then if they, if they fail, it's because they did all this stuff wrong. That's not the case. Sometimes it's just a nice grind. It is a hard grind to get where you need to get when it comes to this life, man. You know, when I watch these people on, and I am a big guy sports analyst shows, right? Big guy. I love watching first take. I love watching ESPN. I love watching NFL network. I love watching all that stuff. Undisputed, FS1, First Things First, all these shows that you guys have probably seen. Some of you guys probably like watching other different different stuff. I love seeing this stuff because day in and day out, they got to show up, okay? We get them at least two to 200 to 250 times a year because I'm, you're taking out the weekends and the time they take holidays off, right? I mean, take the uh, weeks off for vacation. You're getting these guys every year and they've been doing this for seven, eight, nine, ten years. And some people look at these people and they think, oh, well, I could do that or I could do that. But you can't even get up for work every day. You have a hard time making it to your nine to five where you work 20 hours a week. You're complaining right there. You think that money is going to make that big of a difference? I think it's so frustrating to think that some people don't understand that some people do stuff for free for a very long time before they see any money, especially in social media. There's people on YouTube that have made no money in the first five years of them making videos, trying their best, zero dollars. And the second they start making money and they get to that hundred thousand subscribers or a million subscribers, people want to be like, oh, your job is so easy. It's so, it's so, I could do it any day. No, you couldn't. No, you could not. You may think that you can just hop on camera and make videos every single day, but if you have a hard time going to your nine to five and then doing this YouTube stuff and you're not making a single dime and people are all in your face, I can't tell you how many people have gotten in my face because I wasn't monetized. I can't tell you how many people have gotten in my face when I first started making videos and I was getting no views. And there'd be one guy who saw the video and be like, wow, nobody even watched this. You're a loser. I can't tell you how many times I've live streamed and there was nobody in here and I'm still giving the same energy I'm giving right Right now, the same energy I'm giving right now, my camera's not working. I'm still giving y'all passion. You know what I'm saying? I'm still giving it to y'all every single day. And people think that it's just so simple. It's just so simple to just do this. Every day I've gotten clowned for not having anybody in the live stream. And people are saying, why are you talking so much? Why are you having so much energy? There's nobody even in here because it doesn't matter to me. I treat it the same way. Because the day that comes that if I do have a hundred people in here or a thousand people or however many, you're going to feel the same energy I felt back then because I take it that seriously. I really do. I really wake up. And then I think about how am I going to make a YouTube video today? I show up every day, five days a week. I always think about YouTube and how to make a video, how to do a little bit better, how to get the production set to go up. I have to do this and I have to work my nine to five to get the money to do some of this stuff. Some of the stuff I can't do, you know? I can't have a $968 soundboard. I obviously can't afford that, but I keep coming back with what I've got. But some people, they think they got to have the whole world to do good on YouTube. They have to do all of this stuff and they don't even try. They're not willing to embarrass themselves. They're not willing to make a fool of themselves. They're not willing to be wrong. They're not willing to do anything. They're not willing to even look stupid because your first few videos are going to look stupid. But they rather sit at home and mope and complain about how they're not making no money or how they're not famous or how they're not this or why did this YouTuber get to make it? Why did this live streamer get to make it? 
why why is this guy getting promoted? I remember when I got promoted, guys. I was the number one agent on my sales floor for eight straight months. You know how many people got in my face and would tell me, man, Trey, you do too much. Trey, you know too much. Why are you always looking at all the material? Why are you always studying? Why do you always think you're always right? Why do you think you're this? It's like, God, God dang it, I take it seriously. I don't want to get fired. You guys may come to work and think that it's all hunky-dory, but I know what it feels like to be fired. So I give my everything every single day. Every single day. And that's why I'm number one and you're not. Because you're over here complaining about showing up to work every day. And I'm happy to just have a damn job. I'm happy to be able to make YouTube videos. Because not everybody gets this opportunity. So I treat it as such. That's why I take it seriously and I keep showing up every single day. I don't give an F if I have one video that has zero views. And then I have a video that has 3,000 views. Obviously, there's people who have views. I mean, videos that have 1.5 million, 10 million 20 million, 100 million views on these videos. I probably never see those kind of numbers, at least not for a very, very long time. But it doesn't matter because if I can get my all when I'm not getting a god dang view, then I can do it when I'm getting thousands of views or hundreds of thousands of views. You better, you can bet when I, that if that time ever comes for me, that I'm going to be here and I'm going to still be giving my best and that I know people are going to come out the woodworks that are going to, most people, like I said, most people are positive, but there'll be the people who think, oh my gosh, he just made it overnight because he makes these kind of videos. Ain't nobody was there when I was making, getting zero views. Nobody was here when I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my live stream right now. Ain't a soul in here. And I'm still giving you the same energy. But I'm with Dana White. It's like, you want to be that? Fine. You want to sit at home and do this and just be mediocre? Fine. But don't get mad at the people who are willing to look dumb. The people who are willing to put themselves down on the front line, get made fun of, be, look stupid, and then be mad at them when they finally do get some praise or they finally hit the algorithm or something starts to go their way. Don't do that to people. Just don't do that. I just find it so disingenuous, so disrespectful for you to do that to people who are grinding. There's people I hate on YouTube. There's people who hate me on YouTube. But one thing I can't knock about these people that I hate is God dang it, they show up every day, every single day. When I look up on YouTube, there they are making a video, getting better, getting better, not liking their opinions, but they're getting better. And I'm talking about people that not people who I think are evil. I'm talking about people I just disagree with. Right. We just have a difference of opinion, but they're showing up every day. Who would I be to be like, well, man, I mean, if I was there, I'd be, no, I wouldn't. If I'm not doing that now with nobody in here, there's no dang way I could do it with people paying me money to show up on the TV or show up on the screen. That's all I'm saying. So quit complaining all the dang time. Get to work. Get to the grind. It's part of life. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. I went on a big, big, big rant there. Anyway. Let me uh, do this right quick. <clears throat> Y'all ain't going to get rid of me that easily. Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> All right. So, that's just how I feel. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Yeah, I saw y'all had to see me in a little square the whole time, but I don't care. Get out there and grind, guys. I believe in a lot of y'all. Some of y'all I don't believe in because of what y'all show. But... A lot of y'all that talk to me, a lot of people that I see um, on my comment section, um, some of y'all that I see grinding, getting those subs up, got way more subs than me. Y'all keep grinding, man. One day we'll be able to look back and not brag about it, but be able to say, man, I'm just glad I kept going. I'm glad I kept going even through the bad times. I'm glad I kept going even when I didn't think I was going to make it. I'm going to be honest, and I'll shut up after this. I never thought I'd get 1,000 subscribers. If y'all go back and watch my old videos, I said it a lot. I said, I think I'm going to fail at YouTube. I put that in my head. I said, there's, there's a good chance I'll never make it on YouTube and I'll never see a thousand subscribers. And I truly believe that. I never thought I'd get 4,000 watch hours. You know what I mean? Now, now I've doubled that. I've already doubled the 4,000 watch hours, you know? I never thought I'd get here. I just kept making videos. I don't know what's going to succeed and what's not going to succeed. I just made videos I thought I wanted to make. I did make some adjustments, but I don't know what's going to succeed. You know, I hear stories all the time and somebody's like, I had a video that had 800 views and now it has 100,000 views. I, you know, that's unfathomable to me. But I will say this now. Do I think I can get to 100,000 subscribers? Yes, I do. And not because I think I'm the greatest at what I do, but I know if I keep putting in the effort, not just on the camera. I'm talking about in my actual life too. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, how I treat people. 
I think if I continue on the route I am now and continue to get back, I do think I can get to 100,000 subscribers. I truly believe that. And if I don't, I don't. But just like I believed at one point that I would never see 1,000 subscribers, I believe wholeheartedly that I can get to 100,000 subscribers. I don't know how long that's going to take. I don't have that down to a T. But I truly believe I can get there through hard work. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this Dana White video. I'm gone.